update the solar eclipse edition i'm your host bill noble concerned about strange things happening in the world strange headline risks we'll call it headline risk best wishes to everybody in new york eclipses can sometimes be associated with seismic events i suspect i'm not going to have any trouble selling the idea that the eclipse can be an epic inflection point in more ways than one that will be flying directly over my head in austin texas on monday what does it mean for bitcoin and could it be could it be the biggest bitcoin rally anybody's ever seen how would that happen don't go anywhere i'll tell you let's put it this way would you want to wake up would you want to wake up and go, gee, Bitcoin's up 15%. What do I do? I'm going to try to get you ready for that today. We're going to do Bitcoin Cash. We're going to do ETH. We're going to do anything that's money. Anything that is money. Okay, so we have WOJ here wants to see Bitcoin Cash. Digital Bobby Aiken. Right. Welcome. Angela wants me to be president. I appreciate that. Okay. Laughing Dolphin is here. John, Sarah, Gohi, Cat D. Welcome. Bart, good evening. Good evening. AZK, AZK, welcome. Good morning. Everybody hit that like button. Yes. If you need a roadmap in crypto, subscribe to this channel. Turn on alerts so you know when we're going live. And if the content works for you, don't forget to hit the like button. This show is brought to you by my Patreon. This free show is brought to you by my Patreon, where we have altcoin picks, podcasts, coaching. Scan this really subtle QR code. Get involved. Patreon store has two new reports. One on DeFi, one on layer ones. When the world, when Web3 goes on blockchain, you want to be ready. You want to go with the momentum. The link to the Patreon is down below and links to the Patreon and to the store for those VIP reports are in the chat. Philip, Alpha incoming. Okay, news. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, jobs report comes in hot. U.S. economy adds large number of jobs. Uh, I'm not an economist. So the unemployment rate is really low. It's been low for 26 straight months. That's good. We want people to have jobs. This theoretically puts Fed rate cuts on hold. As they say, the total surpasses economists' expectations for 205,000 jobs gained. I want to say that's the 13th or 14th month in a row that the jobs report has beat expectations. So perhaps they have a problem with their expectation calculation. I'm not sure. Now, New York and New Jersey hit with a earthquake, the biggest in 140 years. So first they had it in Asia. Now they're having it over here. And I think you have to ask yourself, is this it? There are headlines with stuff that, you know, I can't talk about. You know, a lot of it is overseas. You probably know what I mean. But when you read those headlines, right? When you read those headlines and you look at this, here's a question. What strange things could happen in markets next week? Could Bitcoin or any other form of money suddenly become, become unbelievably attractive? Could the Bitcoin ETF be something that everyone in equities feels like, you know, I need to get out of the Magnificent Seven. I haven't said much about equities because, you know, they kind of they have their own vapors that they have going on over there based on Fed rate cuts. Why don't we take a look at that today and say to ourselves, you know, what would happen 
if people suddenly became more interested in Bitcoin than in stocks? What would happen if ATMs didn't work? Not an unreasonable question given the type of headlines that we have going on, right? In other words, I'm doing this stream today with the title biggest Bitcoin rally ever because I don't want my viewers or my Patreon people to like wake up and have Bitcoin be up 15% on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday of next week. And you didn't take the weekend to kind of get ready. Like when's the best time to look at crypto? When it's down, when it's down, right? Global game of chicken continues. That refers to the overseas headline situation. Now, on that note, since everybody will be watching that, no doubt, on CNN, a lot of times if things are going to start, the United States usually wants them to start after equities close on a Friday. Bitcoin's acceptance as digital gold may spur demand from new investors, says Coinbase. Let me ask you something. What's the quickest way to get money out of the banking system, if necessary? Coinbase. Hit the green button. What happens if everybody hits the green button all at the same time? And I mean, are you telling me that there's no catalysts out there? Like, is it, you know, Bill, the analyst making stuff up in theory? Or is it like really the theories of William Gann and what it means for eclipses, which is coming up in the PowerPoint? I mean, is it happening? And does it benefit crypto? Or does it benefit the type of cryptos that are the future of money? As I said to one YouTube colleague, you know, we were discussing it and he said, you know, we were one cycle early on digital cash. Those were his words and he's right. Okay. And he's been talking about things like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Bitcoin cash. And I'm going to throw XRP in there as well. Cause I got a shocking XRP theory that you're going to want to stay tuned for. Okay. Again, you know, this is the job market. I don't know how we can add 300,000 jobs when they expected 200,000, unless there's a new influx of people coming into the country who are getting jobs and that's being counted. Okay. I like this. Analysts unveil Coinbase stock price targets ahead of Bitcoin having, you know, these are the same group of guys that were downgrading Coinbase to sell as if it was like, I don't know, like it was going to go to zero back near the lows a year and a half ago. Now, of course, they're all going to be racing each other to see who has the biggest upside target. And the question that I keep asking is, is Coinbase going to have to start working with or buying some sort of Bitcoin mining, farming facilities where they, where they grow the Bitcoin, right? Where they can get their hands on it. Because I don't know where everyone's going to get it from if everyone hits the green button all at the same time and everybody wants BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF, right? Suddenly everyone's like, you know, maybe we should look at the Coinbase price targets. Yeah, maybe you should look at some long-term price predictions for Bitcoin miners. Want to see some wild numbers? Stay tuned for that. Now, I love this, right? Ethereum could avoid the designation as a security. Yes, we know it's been declared a commodity by the CFTC. Centralization risk is easing, says crypto experts, a big bank at Wall Street. Come on, man. Ethereum on base. Good Lord. These things, I mean, if you have Ethereum trading as a trading instrument and as money, which remember, does very well when green fiat goes down, gold and silver go up. That is happening. Don't miss those charts. How is Ethereum not, I don't know, not attractive at 3,200? And what happens, I hadn't thought of this until just now. What happens if you have everyone hitting the green button in Bitcoin and everybody hitting the green button in ETH at the same time? In other words, ETH has been kind of like, yeah, you know, Bitcoin sort of been dramatically outperforming it. What happens if there's an ETH catch up rally? I think we have something in here somewhere where 
Um, the guys at Solana have a TV commercial making fun of Ethereum. Boy, that, that smells like the low. You know what I'm saying? It smells like teen spirit. BlackRock adds five new APs to spot Bitcoin ETF, including Goldman, Citadel, and Citigroup. Bitcoin ETF APs mean authorized participants. When BlackRock gets into something, they bring everybody at Wall Street along with them. The idea of tokenized assets, the idea of DeFi, the idea of real world assets, the idea of multiple other cryptos winding up inside ETF. That's Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Doge, you name it. What happens if all this happens at the same time? Like what happens if the, if there's a level of urgency on this rather than just a level of interest, how fast can things change around a solar eclipse quickly? The digital cash narrative. Is it not, is it not happening as we speak? Bitcoin cash moving on to having Litecoin pressed 107 came back, retraced to support. Okay. Are they the greatest cryptos in the world? Uh, I don't know. They're boomer cryptos, but could they 4X? Could Litecoin go to 400? What do you want to pay for Litecoin? 97 or 400? What happens if people need transactional currencies in the event of some sort of disturbance? Are we in a disturbance-free world? I, I don't think so. Uniswap hits 2 trillion in volume. Just in case you think ETH is dead. It's not. They're going to figure out a way to reduce transaction fees. Okay. Now, just as a reminder, the Bitcoin halving is in 12 days. See the previous stream for a plan on the Bitcoin halving or stay tuned in Patreon for the altcoins that will probably benefit once the Bitcoin halving occurs. Real world assets and the hot layer ones. We're going to need more than just Ethereum, Solana, and Avalanche to make Web3 work. Check that out. Now, the Bitcoin block reward is going to go from six Bitcoin to three Bitcoin. Okay. And everyone is down on the Bitcoin miners. And I have an idea for you. What happens if you wake up and Bitcoin is at 100K? because of some sort of event. I mean, is that really impossible? Is, is it impossible to have Bitcoin at 80 or 90 like that, right? Boom. Some catalyst happens. Bitcoin, uh, BlackRock has to buy 2 billion. Everybody at Coinbase is hitting the green button. Is that so absurd? Maybe, but you know what? You know, when you discuss absurd things before they happen, not while they're happening. And if the three Bitcoin that the miners are getting is worth a hundred thousand, those stocks, those stocks could be worth more than they currently are. Okay. The U S unemployment, the consecutive months below 4% is at a record almost at, you know, not a record, but it's at the highest level since 1960, 26 consecutive months below 4%. And of course that's good for the population. We want people to have jobs, but shouldn't Bitcoin be lower today, April 5th? Shouldn't it be lower, right? I mean, Hey, the jobs report is hot, hot, hot. Inflation is hot, hot, hot. Even though I don't think 5% interest rates are going to do anything about problems with chicken farms and cows getting sick. Just saying 5% rates are not going to stop the price of eggs. If we have a chicken problem. Okay. Personally, personally, I think it's more likely that something could happen that could cause the Fed to either have to cut rates or flood the system with money because too much weird stuff's happening. Matter of fact, the fact that equities were up today off this unemployment number led me to believe that perhaps they're in already. Perhaps they're in cushioning it already, which is why crypto is not down because crypto should be down a lot. Yeah, I know old coins are all down five or 6%, but I mean, is that, is that, that's not a shocker, right? It's, it's more like a, a, a shopping day. Could you wake up Monday and could all risk assets have problems? 
Yeah, but you know what? Do you really need to watch a live stream of crypto to know that it could go down? Right? Of course it could go down. The question is, what happens if it all gaps up? Meaning as in like Sunday night or Monday night, you wake up and it's just, it's just off to the races and crypto hedge funds are running into the office, as I like to say, right? Solana just launched uh, a not so nice commercial about Ethereum as we talked about it. Will the Ethereum community strike back? You know what? I don't think the Ethereum community has to do anything, right? Ethereum is money. So is Solana because you can move it back between phantom wallets, assuming the network is up. Ethereum is money and no one is going to care in a moment of stress if it costs $5 to move it from one place to the other. I saw a tweet from a famous trader saying it took three hours for a Bitcoin transaction to go through. I mean, if you have jammed networks, what about these rapid moving cryptos? And what about ETH on base? What about ETH on base? I mean, do you think that if you have a positive Bitcoin environment, or you have some kind of an event that tokens on base aren't going to be what people flood to for additional speculation, particularly if there are issues with the Solana network and everyone's making fun of ETH as gold and silver are rallying. I mean, these things help ETH and everyone is like, yeah, yeah whatever. Okay. The founder of Cardano live streaming from his apartment or his office, trying to get everybody interested in his coin, talking about how the mainstream uh, system of governance is not working for him. Is the mainstream system of running anything working for anybody? You know what? Uh, a certain social media platform has become so good at bringing reality-based news that it's almost like, I can't take it. I can only take so much of the news because it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. And I just, I put my phone down. I go, the only answer to this is crypto. The only answer to this is crypto, right? Okay. So U.S. stocks rebound after job growth beats expectations. Wall Street steady lads following a global sell-off that spiked oil to $90 a barrel. So geopolitical conflict can't really say much about it. Question is, do people really want to fight? We're going to find out this weekend. We're going to find out this weekend. Federal Reserve inflation fight is not done, says Jay Powell. We're going to raise rates until more chickens appear out of the sky. Old news. Okay, just to let you know, over in Patreon, we have the podcast episode for Eclipse Cowboys, Marathon Digital, Hut Mining. I'm going to show you some of that today. We have a new Layer 1 report, Tau. We're going to go over two of those coins today, okay? And, of course, there's DeFi and RWA in the event, we need a new financial system. Another reminder that an important large public institution just port reported its largest loss ever at $114 billion by Bitcoin. Not investment advice. Okay, let's see who else is here. Angela is here. Looking for near and phantom. We'll take a look at it. Okay. Crypto crazy is here. Great filibuster saluting you. The fuzz crypto. Okay. How long before the rocket ship turns and takes off? I don't know. I'm kind of thinking now. The lodge is here looking for work on compound. I'm writing it all down. Montreal is here. <laughs> Dane says Uniswap larger than Aussie GDP. Pancakes and peanut butter. Forget about it. Big Rich with the super chat. We appreciate that. Going to try to look at AKT, right? Spinach is here. Will DeFi have a comeback? 
Yes. Spin, will cultural tokens have a future? Yes. Robert Wiley, earthquake in New Jersey. Hope you are okay. New York City bull riders, welcome. Daniel J, Patriot Caveman, Mort, not a fan of Bitcoin. Madrid is here. IXS, where is STX headed? STX is in the report. Let's just say we like it. It's layer two on Bitcoin's BRC20 ordinals. Oh my God. These narratives haven't taken off yet. Everyone's like, oh, I'm late. Yeah, I missed everything in crypto. Oh my God, people, please. This is like third, second or third inning if it was American baseball. I, 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 I can't help but think that. You know, and if I'm wrong, I, I'm wrong. I, I'm not going to be the guy who gets off the cycle two months, three months in. I'm just, I'm not. I am absolutely not doing that. Okay, this is your market update. April 5th, this is not investment advice. Let's talk about the eclipse. Drawing parallels from GAN's work to the current scenario, this is chat GBT, the solar eclipse over the United States could be seen as a harbinger of significant turning points or volatility in financial markets. Gann has a book, that, A Tunnel Through the Air, where he's got all this encoded knowledge. The eclipse was featured in the final scene. Gann's methodology often hinted that celestial events could coincide with sudden shifts in market sentiment or economic trends, leading, this is key, to potential reversals or accelerations, say that again, leading to potential reversions or accelerations in market movements. You know, at first I was like, hey, I'm a little worried about crypto. And now I'm like, hey, wait a minute. Could crypto accelerate off this phenomenon? Could it? Yeah, of course it could go down. Yeah, everybody wants Bitcoin at 58K. But what, what if it's the other way around? What if you just wake up one day and it's at 80? And, and, and you feel like you missed it. And then it goes even higher, like all at once. Right. I, I mean, did you think there was going to be an, if I said two streams ago, if I said on Wednesday stream, there's going to be an earthquake in New York city, you would have clicked off the street. Bitcoin on a three day chart. This is Fibonacci extension work. Okay. This has been applied across a lot of parabolic tokens. A lot of, a lot of AI RWA plays. Interesting that either the 0.618 extension or the 1.618 extension. So I know that's jargon, but basically what we do is we connect this point and this point and the Fibonacci math shows us possible price targets or stopping points. Very interesting that Bitcoin is consolidating just below a Fib number at 69K which happens to be the all-time high. And according to the way I've been drawing these structures lately, the next target above 70K is 101. Could you wake up one day with Bitcoin at 101? Is it worth a shot? Okay, the Telegram token, ton, money on Telegram, right? 542 is a similar FIB number. Upside target, possibly 873. Don't like Litecoin. Don't like Bitcoin Cash. What about this? What about this? Supposedly, they're doing meme coins and they're trading on this network as well. Bitcoin Cash. It's too late. I missed it. It went from 300 to 700. Did you? The 1.618, right? That 618, 62%. I'm always talking about it. Is that 700? This takes out 700. It can go to 1170. What is Bitcoin Cash exactly? Fast Bitcoin. By the way, also available on PayPal and assorted other apps. Everybody could hit the green button at the same time, particularly if there's any weirdness with like ATM machines, banking systems. You know, how long do things have to be weird before everybody goes, oh, gee, I should do this. Because let me tell you something, folks. The New York City, New Jersey situation. Listen to me. 
Trouble doesn't make an appointment. It doesn't, right? It's like, oh, there's been an earthquake. I think I'll go out and get two weeks worth of food and water. Yeah, good luck with that, right? Don't you have to have some sort of transactional currency as a part of your portfolio? Everyone's like, yeah, I want to do meme coins. Well, of course you do. They're going up a lot. It attracts capital to the system. Like I'm all about Doge. I, I got a message from somebody who's like, yeah, I'm really worried about what's going on in Doge. People, listen, you got to be able to tolerate some retracement and you have to be able to buy breakouts. Bull markets, right? Either they push you out or they don't let you in. Doge feels like they're trying to push people out. Bitcoin Cash feels like they're not letting you in. Bear markets don't let you out. Bull markets don't let you in. This feels like a market that doesn't want to let you in. Bitcoin to me is the same thing because everyone wants to dip to 58K and I don't think they're going to get it. If they were going to get it, they would have gotten it today off the payroll number. Litecoin. Okay, no one likes Litecoin except me, right? 2020, Litecoin sits around, does nothing, does a little spike, does a little dance, does a spike sits for a little while and then boom not the exact pattern match you can get two whole litecoin for two hundred dollars on coinbase and this is a transactional currency whether it's you like the blockchain mechanics or you don't do you want to fade is this not the bigger the base the higher in the space this was the bigger the base, the higher in the space. This base is bigger. Litecoin hasn't done anything since FTX. Litecoin hasn't even unwound all of the FTX rally re uh, decline, really. And, and above 107, uh, you got yourselves a sustained breakout, possibly. Okay, Bitcoin. So I have a Fibonacci circle structure around 67. Um they, they kind of love to come down here and run stops and make it look terrible. I know this is a triangle, but I, I'm kind of getting into my Fibonacci work here. Uh, here is a closer look at the structure. Here is a redraw of an admittedly spurious trend line connecting early 2020 with pre FTX 2022. I don't know, man, that trend line and that fib circle, man, they intersect right there. I was looking for those intersection points. You know, all oh, Bitcoin dipped from 69 to 67. Who cares? Who cares? I mean, did anybody care about any of these dips on the way up? Right? Did anybody care about any of these upticks on the way down? They were opportunities. But once, like, like I said, you know, Bitcoin, I remember this. This was what we call in the market update, get to the chopper back in 2002. Listen, man, you had a couple of weeks to get out. You had some time before this thing was down only, right? Bitcoin weekly, you know, you've had like what? Five weeks of hanging out up here. You know, do you want to get caught sleeping? Because I got news for you over here back in 2022, the catalyst that made this happen was apparent, but not traded. Apparent, but not traded. Bitcoin monthly. Look at this, a reminder that this retest is doing nothing more than retesting the first attempt at 70 in early 2021. What are we doing here? We're retesting res resistance is now becoming support because well, no, we're just testing it. Everyone's all wound up. Why? Because it went down for a week. I mean, the longer they make it sit down here and look terrible, right? Because again, if they're not hitting it off, hot employment, hot inflation, if they're not hitting it now, what are they going to hit it on? Unless it could follow equities lower, but I'll talk about that, right? I mean, what's going to get this thing to go down? Okay, ETH, some fib circle analysis, and I like these little Fibonacci time-related lines. You know, I kind of connected... The bottom and the abyss in January, uh, December of 2018. I don't know. I found something where the rally started in January. And it feels like after the halving on April 22nd is when ETH really wants to get it going. Also note that ETH is kind of close to where it is on these circles. 
Sometimes that can be an inflection point. But really the major point is that after the having ETH and, and alts, but, but ETH, right? Dollar index monthly. There was a 13 signal like this in ETH prior to Celsius. This signal right here on the dollar index monthly chart, 13 tops. Okay. In the Dixie, this 13 top is known, but not traded. And if there is some kind of conflict or there is some kind of problem that results in having to crank up the printing machine organically, if you have a problem with too much debt, the best way to deal with too much debt is to have the foreign exchange market take a green paper lower. This could be why Bitcoin is not down today because the dollar is not up and the rally off the payroll number got sold. Here is DXY. Now, if this is the flagpole and this is a flag, the saying is flags fly at half mast, which means if this is the initial move, there will be a flag and there could be another move that looks like this one. So if this is a bear flag, we don't know what it is yet, but how about Dixie at 96? Where's Bitcoin with Dixie at 96? Particularly if there's, you know, they will get a little bit of thunder going on with this trade. Like when they dropped the dollar index here, they, they dropped it in the third quarter of last year. And we know what kind of rally that ignited. Now here are our friends in S and P. Okay. As we can see, you know, they love it <laughs> up only on Fed rate cuts led by the Magnificent Seven, except for this little tiny problem that the RSI, the 13 period RSI keeps making lower and lower highs as price keeps making higher and higher highs, which, you know, it doesn't matter until it does. Okay. And when it does, you can have some very sharp corrections. Now, if you look at futures, this is kind of classic equities, right? You go down, and then you would trace 76%. Right? So it goes down, everyone buys the dip, it retraces, and then boom, it goes down. And we're doing it again. So it goes down, and equities, you know, I don't know, they like it today, they take it back up. And then if this doesn't, if this rally doesn't stick, and there's a problem on Monday, could that negatively impact Bitcoin? Of course it can. Of course it can. It can negatively impact all coins. But what happens if everybody goes, you know, I really want some Bitcoin. Okay. Marathon Digital. Some long-term price predictions. We have a long-term price prediction report in Patreon. I would encourage you to check that out for where certain cryptos are going to be out until 2025. What would happen if I drew this structure and told you that Marathon Digital at 18 could be worth 300 something dollars in 2027. And that what they call the Bitcoin beta is actually in the miners. Meaning these mining stocks are all assumed to be blah because you know, Bitcoin's not going to go up that much and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Okay. What happens if that assumption is wrong? Hut eight. No one wants it at nine, even though the potential long-term target based on this very outside the box analysis is 135. And this is a bigger, the base, the higher into space. Why is no one interested in Bitcoin miners when there is no supply? I guess we need an announcement that some investment bank or BlackRock or Coinbase or MicroStrategy is going to have to take over one of these companies. I, I mean, it's at eight and no one wants it. Now let's talk about XRP. If you stuck around this long, Let's talk about it. XRP is making a stable coin. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Why would Ripple make a stable coin? Well, could Ripple be making a stable coin to create liquidity to ramp XRP? I mean, they printed, you know, the system, the crypto system printed tether and whales use that tether to ramp Bitcoin from 5K to 20K. 
So it would be really interesting. I mean, yeah, I can draw XRP at $3 in July of 2025. And that's nice because you've heard that before on YouTube. But what happens if this XRP stable coin is XRP QE? And everyone's selling it at 60 cents because no one wants a fast version of money. What does XRP do? It's money. It's a fast network. That's it. That's all it's ever been. And, wh and what happens? I mean, you, you think like Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash and these type of things are going to take off and XRP is just going to sit there? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. So yeah, okay. It, it, everyone thinks it's dead money right now, but how would XRP get the $3? Like there are all these hyperbole targets in XRP. How do you get there? XRP has to become money. It's as simple as that. It has to become a blockchain that's fast. You can move money around when other blockchains are too expensive, crowded, or congested. Doge. Like, I don't know. I got a message from a guy who's worried about Doge. So I put this chart in and I hope he sees it. Right? He says, well, you know, I'm not happy with Doge. The trend is down. No, the trend is up because this is the trend. Now, if you got involved in Doge late, okay, you got involved in Doge late. The stochastics don't look, the RSI does not look good, but it's holding on 17 cents. And what, what is the rationale to not own Doge if I'm talking about money being the next big trade in crypto? And everybody's like, oh my God, I got to get out. That, that doesn't make any sense. So, I mean, if I'm wrong and Doge breaks down, like, a, like the guy who used to, who taught me how to trade a long time ago said, if I'm wrong, I'll lose money. But if I'm right and you wake up one day and Bitcoin is at 80, where's this going to be? Just in case you don't think that there is a problem with the green paper, this is the CRB commodity index. No, this is not a cat coin on Solana. This is commodities. Specifically, this index is heavily weighted metals and food. And as you can see, it's up only. And this benefits ETH. Gold. Is that an altcoin or gold? No, it's gold. Gold smells trouble, reminding you that trouble does not make an appointment. You've been told right here, right here. Silver breaking out of an annoying range that has bored everyone to tears. You think you're frustrated in XRP? Oh my God, these silver guys have been waiting and waiting. Man, silver takes off, eats at 4,000. Layer one protocols, altcoins, trias, a layer one at support, being sold like an expanding triangle. Tau. Man, I read about what this does. Good goodness. I mean, expanding triangle, very bullish consolidation pattern, a lot of volatility around 500. Where's that going to be in a year with Web3 really coming online and AI having it be a necessity to be on the blockchain so that one person doesn't control it? Rune, retesting a prior high. Sitting at the 62% retracement of the last ramp at seven, rune at seven, run away or get involved. Read my mind. Just in big banks reaching out to miners directly to buy Bitcoin because of supply shortage on exchanges. Just a reminder, uh, I got a YouTube short called there, there is, there is no more Bitcoin last check. This short ignited my whole channel and has like 220,000 views. And that is the market update. Okay, let's get into live TA. Okay, I know we got a couple requests. Let me be refreshing to my producer and actually remember to share screen. And let's get going on near. Okay near whoops that is not what i'm talking about okay trying this again near okay 
because I'm not on crypto. Okay. Near on Coinbase. Huh? Look up 9%. How did that happen? Let's see. I don't know. Let's try some hidden pivot analysis, which is different than Fibonacci extension. Okay. Just going to do a little changing of the settings here. Nope. Those are the right settings. Okay. Okay. So near, if near, maybe we'll go to a four hour chart, right? Label this near four hour. Okay. So everyone, it goes up. They bore everyone to tears. The key level is 7.3. The beautiful thing about hidden pivot is it lets you see things that are not there and the target is 11. And if I like layer ones, how can you not like near? I mean, if you got in front of near on the way out, that didn't turn out good for you. It just didn't, right? Phantom. Okay. So no one likes phantom right now. Everyone's selling. Okay. Let's see what they're selling it on. Okay. Let's go to a daily chart and let's see where phantom is, huh? So phantom is currently running stops at the 38% retracement of the overall move. And this is so typical. Like, do you know how many times we've seen this where, you know, you're going to get a level, the level's 82 cents. And yeah, I know Phantom dramatically outperformed on the way up. So I get it. But look, it's like, do you want to sell into a stop fishing exercise or buy into a stop fishing exercise? Could this fall apart next week if, if there's a problem with risk assets? Yeah. But you know what? Again, really, again, stop fishing exercise. Stop fishing exercise. Okay. What else we got? STX. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. STX. A layer one on Bitcoin. I don't know. I read this tweet once that said, it's a bull market, draw a trend line, grab a bag and go. That's not investment advice, but it, it does seem pretty good to me. I, I kind of like it. AKT. Okay, again, another stop fishing exercise. This whole day feels like a stop fishing exercise. One more compound. Okay, don't forget to check out the DeFi report in the Patreon. Don't. Okay. And I'm, I'm guessing this is going to look perhaps similar, perhaps not. Okay. So again, the 38% retracement of the move in compound is at 72 and they're making it look terrible. It just looks terrible. It never trades good at a bottom. Okay. So let's go for a reminder. Do you want to wake up one day and have crypto be massively higher and have you basically either long the wrong thing or perhaps have missed out. If you're not comfortable with your positions, change your positions or move to Bitcoin, not investment advice. Time in the market matters more than trying to time it, particularly when they like to do stop fishing exercises. Eclipse create very weird things. Okay. We had a super sticker here. I appreciate that, right? Somebody just requested Sheeb, and I know Big Rich requested something. I just can't remember what it is, if he's still on. So I can do Sheeb right here. And again, you kind of have to ask yourself.
Okay. Here comes for the super chat, guys. So not getting anything with the fib retracements on Sheeb. Okay. You know, sometimes I think when it comes to this, it may be just as simple as that. And then what happens near the apex of the triangle, which is April 15th, will be what determines direction. Just as a reminder, sheep can also be money. Okay, I did AKT. That's probably where I got it from for Big Rich. By the way, a huge promoter along with the other Spartans in crypto. Okay, BAI, not sure what kind of data I have here. Okay. That looks pretty beat up. I'm not sure if I've got the right coin or not. All right. So I will take care of Big Rich in Patreon along with the other Spartans. Let's go back to the bottom line. Don't get caught without crypto. If something weird happens on the eclipse, if the market goes down because equities go down or if crypto goes down because of interest rates, whatever. It's a bull market. We'll be back. But if something big happens, I want you to be there. This is Bill Noble. We'll see you in Patreon.